Now to an update of a story you saw here on Denver 7. A fight to save prairie dogs in Parker has just become more urgent ahead of a meeting that could decide their fate. And we told you how a neighborhood in Parker poisoned prairie dogs, but some residents want to relocate the ones that survived. As Liz Gilardi shows us, now the state is stepping in. These prairie dogs are the ones that survived. But their fate is still being debated. They're not bothering anybody. Just let them live. The state recently turned down an application to relocate them. The plea to let them live came after the board in charge of this Parker neighborhood voted to and successfully killed hundreds of prairie dogs living here near houses. Uh, using our HOA money without asking us if they can use it to kill off innocent lives, that's ridiculous. But not everyone in the neighborhood shares the same view. Others were concerned about the increasing number of prairie dogs and the safety of their children and pets. So they reached out to the board. The board for Stonegate Village Metro District told me in a statement, health concerns and resident safety is a top priority. But when some prairie dogs survived the poisoning, they partnered with a group called Prairie Protection Colorado in hopes of relocating the survivors. We asked the state why the application was denied. A spokesperson for Colorado Parks and Wildlife explained the proposed relocation site was not a native habitat and people living nearby expressed concern about relocation efforts. The prairie dogs fate, the survivors fate is in the hands of the board members. And their fate has residents at odds. Liz Gilardi, Denver 7.